Do you guys think the death penalty should exist? Because when you talk about the skin furniture guy, I'm like, yeah, that guy should, <laughs> yeah, he should die. That, that guy's got, that guy's gotta go. I feel like the first generation of kids will feel very differently about the situation of Mars. Why the fuck am I here? <laughs> They're gonna be pissed, dude. Imagine gaining consciousness and you're on fucking Mars. Our body needs water, right? So why the fuck does it give it away? <laughs> Clearly you want it, but you sweat and you piss it out all the time. Hi, guess who's back? Yes, that's right. It's me, Disguised Toast, back on the Offline TV podcast. It's been a while. It's good to be back. Today I'm joined by the boys of OTV. Yo. John and Michael. And Broden. Hi. <laughs> Skara had his moment last week, so we didn't invite him this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So yeah, let's get straight into it. There's a war going on. Yes, sir. All right, you're opening with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the bottom of the list. <laughs> yeah, we should start. Where do, you, where do you? First off, who do you think is the good guys? See, it's clearly Ukraine, right? But I say that without doing any research just what reddit tells me and what the western media tells me same right yeah it's painted that way <laughs> they have the blue lightsabers yeah yeah they have the blue lightsaber and i'm pretty sure that's the general sentiment yeah around the world yeah i think everywhere yeah. except for maybe fuck those other some of the other countries <laughs> was it kazakhstan who was like yeah yeah they are painted as like Yes, that. Yeah, but if you ask me, well, what, what research did you do to come to that conclusion? I'm like, I saw some memes about the <laughs> Ukraine president, about how he's pretty good looking, he's a comedian, and Putin is like a jerk. Yeah. So that's, that's where I get my politics from. But I started having like thoughts, and I think this is how like anti-vaxxers started. <laughs> <laughs> where it's like, wow... Who, who's to say this information we're receiving is actually true? Maybe it's the other way around. So I started thinking like in an anti-vax way, but like regarding this war, it's like maybe Russia is the good guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> because... And what was your conclusion on this? I'm like, well, if all the leaders are saying like Russia bad, Ukraine good, then they probably know something I don't, right? I, I'm not saying I support Russia. This is a <laughs> terrible thing to start with. I'm just saying I actually know very little about politics. Yeah. And I don't know like when I'm being told something, especially regarding like political stuff. It's like, yeah. am I falling for like marketing or even like propaganda? Yeah, it's or, happening in a place you don't know. Yeah. You don't live there. Yeah, different continent. I think it's probably the fact that the Russian people are in Ukraine mm -hmm. and Ukrainian people are not in Russia, you mm -hmm. know, like, uh, like attacking. Right. Right. So it's like, would be stepping over someone's borders with a military would be, you'd probably, you'd be the bad guy. Yeah. You know, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. In Toast explanations, I can hear the hate comment, and then <laughs> and then you and you backpedal, and, and the, I hear the backspace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I'll keep watching. <laughs> I'll wait till the end. <laughs> But it's like I th it think it's freakish because of how many, like, like I wasn't like old enough to like remember the Iraq War super well or like the early parts, right? Yeah, like no one or none of us really were. Like you don't remember a shit ton of that. Like you mm -hmm. weren't there for Desert Storm or anything. There wasn't a lot of media for that one. Yeah, back then, weird. Weird. Yeah, we were the ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's strange. <laughs> this is I never expected a war to have so many fucking memes. I never expected, yeah. Even it, your crane is posting the memes. <laughs> that it's tweet. It's fucking funny. Yeah. It's kind of like, um, fuck, what did you study in history class? It was like political cartoons, mm -hmm. you know? It's just the evolution of like the political cartoon <laughs> yeah. is right. fucking memes. Also, there's like high quality footage of war now, which I've never yeah. seen that. It's always been like a blurry drone footage, right? Yeah. Like black and white infrared shit. Now it's like. It is really <laughs> surreal to see. Like any clip, even on yeah. it's like on TikTok. Yeah, it's just, yes. On, on Twitch, there's just a blown up building of a guy like in an Uber, just, just like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's crazy. Have you seen that one girl on TikTok who's like life inside a bomb shelter? And oh yeah, that is amazing. She's like, yes, I get my rations for the day, and oh then my God. Here, I see what Vladimir Putin has done to my city. <laughs> it's like oh a my. fucking obliterated building, and she's like, and that's a day in the life in a Ukrainian bomb <laughs> oh, shelter. Dude. It's like holy shit. I I saw the one of like the guy petting the an, uh, the pets in the sh- bomb shelter. Oh, he, he was oh. just like petting the everyone's pets that they had to bring into the bomb shelter because yeah. and that's like something you don't think about. It's like oh yeah, an- everyone's animals. Yeah, like, yeah, they yeah. have to bring it with them to the bomb shelter. That's a lot of shit. I don't know how I move my fucking fish into that. And, and, <laughs> yeah, just come in with Dude, that. Dude, do you see the one photo of the guy? <laughs> it was like a, it was like a suitcase and a fish in a gold fish bowl and an AK forty seven on her shoulder, oh stepping over like a barrier to like escape. It's like holy shit. I can't believe it. He's a real one for not leaving that goldfish, though. Yeah, for like, you real. know he's good. Yeah, yeah you know he's, he's yeah, you know he's good. He's got the he's got the heart. Yeah. yeah. Like, would you guys stay and fight for your country if, like, an invading force came and you could leave? Like, you could go to Canada. It's an option. Right. But would you stay and be like, I'm going to protect, like, my town against these invaders? Fuck, I couldn't Because really... that <sighs> takes a lot of courage to be yeah. like, yeah, I could peace out, but, like, this yeah. is kind of bullshit. This is injustice. I'm going to go, like... Because the Ukrainian government are pretty much just like, hey, who wants to fight? We have, like, guns for you. Yeah. Come get your guns. <laughs> yeah. Come get your juice. Right? And it's like, well, you have the decision to make. Like, I, I am deathly terrified of dying. Yeah. And I would be like, I'm going to Canada. Immediately Goodbye. to Canada. Yeah. yeah. And if I was in Canada and they're getting invaded, like, I'll be going back to Taiwan. Like, I would not <laughs> feel the need to defend the place. Defend the country. It's like, if, this, if the country falls, it's like, wow, that really fucking sucks. Yeah. But it's too scary for me to, like, put my life on the line. And I don't know how, like, a lot of these guys do it. Yeah. It's hard to say from U.S. because growing up from our generation, it felt like the U.S. was brainwashing us as kids. It's like, this is really cool. Army's really cool. Yeah, you should call it, I'm like, I'm like, why are you... I'm nine years old. Why are you telling me this? Like, <laughs> I was weirdly patriotic as a kid. Like, well, I was like, I would die for the United States. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> like nine were. years old. I was yes. too, though. But it's because they were ad- advertising towards kids. Yeah. It really? felt a little brainwashy. Yeah. I feel like at 14, I was like, that's weird. Yeah, no. I thought that. Yeah. Exactly. Like... Once uh, you go into middle school, I'm like, wait, that was like, wait, <laughs> wait that was a little cringe <laughs> that was, actually yeah. that I was saying that. <laughs> yeah. I'm nine. Yeah. I'm nine. I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I had opinions on like the presidents, but I'm like, wait, I don't know any uh, yeah, issues. Yeah, like, what the fuck? like <laughs> but it was like all because like I was getting advertised war, like join war, it's cool, it's manly, like yeah. you're a man if you join the war and if you support it. Yeah. yeah. So it's weird. But your crane, it looks like from what I've seen, it just looks more like freedom and like pride. It's also like a smaller country. Like I feel like, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't feel like a strong connection to Los Angeles. I would not, I wouldn't, I, I barely would want to spend the gas to get out of Los Angeles <laughs> is how much I like fucking don't care about the city. Exactly. But like, I think if I grew up in a place my whole life, my entire family is there. You know, you're like kind of defending your family. There's some people who can, yeah. who like literally can't move because they got like elderly relatives. Yep. Like you got to yeah. get, how the fuck are you going to get your grandma out of the war zone? Yeah. You know, like, um, I feel like that sentiment makes a lot more sense. I think that's a better word because I don't know anything about Ukraine. And I don't want to say freedom, but I think, <laughs> I think family is a better word. Ukraine yeah, seems yeah. like family. Like yeah. That yeah. Yeah, you're, like, protecting the place that fucking, you, like, your grandma grew up in. Yeah. You're like, yeah, your family's been there forever. Yeah. I don't know. Who do you think the bad guys are, Broden? Yeah, Broden. <laughs> well, the Russians, I saw a video where they were shooting at, like, press and civilians. That so seemed a little bad. bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's literally, there's a, there's a video of um, a camera guy is in, like, a car getting, like, B-roll of, like, Ukraine, like, destruction. Yeah. And suddenly you hear, like, zip, zip, zip. Oh my and everyone's God. like, whoa, 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 get down, get down. Everyone in the car gets down and they start yelling like, journalists, press, stop shooting. And then you hear like this kind of like, rrr, rrr, rrr. Oh, <laughs> and they're like, okay, we're going to get out. And they like open the door. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And they're like, what the f-? And like this happens like three times. And then eventually they like all just kind of like book it and like jump off the bridge <laughs> that they were on and get out to this embankment. And they're like, what the fuck? I is, guess it, we just walk. Wait, like, yeah, it, isn't that like a war rule? Like journalists, like I think so. You yeah. are not supposed to kill members yeah. of the media. But yeah. so the, also, the camera guy was filming that entire time. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. So then they get out and they're like, "Anyone hit? Anyone hit? I think I'm hit." Like, 
I it's think crazy. I'm hit. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's crazy. I mean, like, that much adrenaline, you probably yeah, don't yeah, even feel like it. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Oh, my God. Gosh. So, do war rules allow you to invade a country? It's like, yeah, no, that's fine, but you can't shoot at journalists. I think that is a thing, yeah. It's like, um, I think, uh, fuck, I don't know. I'm yeah, not a political scientist. Because it's like, yeah. once you're invading a country, aren't you kind of breaking the rules? I'm pretty sure one of the rules is like, don't invade countries. I think it's like, assume, I think like the Geneva Convention assumes that there is a war happening. Mm. I don't know if it takes into account like the conditions of the war. I know it's like, don't shoot a fucking journalist, please. It, is it like sportsmanship or like, like, <laughs> yeah. like sportsmanship? Like if we're going back at the guerrilla warfare, the guy with the drums, if you shoot that guy, you're a dick. You're kind of a dick. <laughs> you're if just, you shoot the flag sportsmanship, guy? Sportsmanship. Yeah. Leave them alone. The guy with the flag, leave mm. him alone. He's just, he's just repping the flag. He's repping the flag, yeah. I think it's journalists and, and then, medics you're not supposed to shoot. Yeah, journalists, mm. I understand like that's a no-go. That's... That's just rude. That is rude of them. That's double rude. That is exceptionally rude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's it like so much social media these days. I think Ukraine sent out like one of those notices. It's like, hey, please don't put out troops on TikTok or like <laughs> see like a convo going through like just filming them and putting it on social media. I can't believe that shit's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Did you I, see the? Um, sorry to cut you off, but anonymous, um, or I don't know if it was anonymous, but someone. Um, who <laughs> was jamming the, the Russian radio frequency and they made the spectrograph print out a troll face. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? What's happening? That is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This shit's fucking insane. I just looked it up and journalists are, journalists have immunity during war even if they're printing propaganda. Yeah. They yeah, are yeah. safe unless they're doing hostile acts. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to just like let him, dude. Oh my god, imagine being a journalist and just like fucking walking up. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't touch me. <laughs> oh yeah. That is so weird. Though. What happens if that rules are rules? I feel like there's nothing that can be done there. I, I feel like it's just like the, it's not the unspoken rule. It's definitely yeah, been spoken. I it's, think that's when war crimes come in after. It's like uh, war's yeah. over. Okay. You get Who did the war crime? crime? Yeah, you count out the fouls. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. got you. Count out the fouls on each team. Yeah. Yeah, you get the Mario Party star for most war crimes at the end. <laughs> if you have stars turned on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, what were you going to say before? Um, just like the social media aspect of everything. So uncanny, weird. Yeah, it's like, because no other war really has um, this much social media coverage in the past, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause like with Afghanistan, like Iraq is kind of old and it's like the people that don't u usually use social media back then or have the technology, but now like Ukraine and Russia are both pretty developed and you can just see all this like posts about it and like, I don't know. It is really strange to see like a lot of posts about, oh, a real war. It makes me think it's fake. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not, but it's like the fact that I'm seeing such good quality footage not like a shaky and 2000s camera. Not but... only that, real time. Like, yeah. it's like just like, happening. Yeah, it's like this happened yesterday. Hours after. Yeah. They were just posting it. It's like, wow. Seeing the comments is annoying. Like, what was it? Like, they saved a Russian soldier and then yeah. fed him. And then everyone's like, why would you show his face? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. He's in danger. It's like... Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's like, I understand. I, I get it. But... Yeah. It is just weird watching it all real time with also just our current generation commenting on it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like when I, I saw like pretty much that the same video and like the, the vibes they try and portray is like, see, like nobody in Russia <laughs> wants to fight this war. They're all like nice, good boys. And it's kind of like, it kind of messes up your perception. It's like, oh, so I guess these Russian soldiers don't want to fight for Russia because that's what like I see on TikTok. They, those are the ones that goes viral, like a mm -hmm. Russian soldier like surrenders and it's like yeah, crying. that's the only ones you see, yeah. Yeah, but then you don't really see the ones where the Russian soldier is like, "Well, I, I love Putin, I'm gonna fight for him." And it's like I don't know who's I don't know who really is winning because off know. social media, I'm like, "Oh, Ukraine's winning because every pro Ukraine thing gets uploaded." To right, the top, right, right, right. But, yeah, but I don't know like how the front. It, is yeah, going is to Ukraine yeah. winning or is, is TikTok just like more? Supportive of the like Ukrainian dubs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that, that's why I meant like I don't know if I'm being fed all the information or very specific information at right, times. Right. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. It feels very specific. Yeah. I feel bad getting my information from memes, but it's like, <laughs> it is like, there's a reason political cartoons like exist for so long. It's because mm-hmm. they're like effective and people look at them. Mm-hmm. So that's why I look at fucking memes. Do you see that one <laughs> meme or that one TikTok where it was like, it was someone slapped like a, uh, like a Ukrainian soldier looking around at the other Ukrainian soldiers and they were all like standing and waiting and they cut it with like, one of a Russian shoulder doing the same thing. And it was like pre-game lobbies about to start. It's like, how the fuck is this real? That sounds like a joke. But there's a real war in Europe. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, not a lot of people, I think, I think it comes out like maybe years later, but there's like massive cyber war happening right now. Like huge attacks between Ukraine and Russia. Like, it's, and towards Russia, I think Russia's, failing a lot on defense, but like actually for years, Russia has been um, like dipping their toes into cyber attacks for Ukraine. Um, There's a a hacking team in the Russian GRU, the Russian special forces that, uh, or intelligence agency, they have shut down Ukraine's power grid before, like in times of Mm non-war. So just to Mm -hmm. try out if they can like break critical infrastructure, shit like that. They were um, like responsible for one of the biggest cyber attacks like of all time. Um, it's called Not Petya, and it like absolutely ravaged like Ukraine. It got like all around the world. Um, it, it's really crazy shit. How do they test this? Do, it, it just happens like oh oh that's our bad. Sorry, we we did a ty- oh, we did a typo. Well, they can you can't even really tell like who it's coming from. You know, like oh. if it's if there's a cyber attack happening over there, it's like what the fuck? Who did this? And so like because it's not as easily identifiable as having like you know a soldier in you know russian Mm -hmm. fatigues like they're just allowed to do it and like there's almost no response that you can have to that because like what are you going to do go to war with them you just have to like kind of put together your own hacking team and do that bullshit back yeah they shut down the uh, entire power grid for like hours it was which is crazy because like that shuts off like civilian infrastructure that shuts off like an entire city's electricity like how how are you going to do anything Mm -hmm. yeah and it's completely anonymous. Like you, ju- you're just like left guessing. That yeah, is terrifying. Yeah. It took like years to find out that it was tracked back to Russia. It was found out through. I um, listened to the book called a book called Sandworm, and it talks like heavily about like hacking attacks throughout the world. And the the way they started like figuring out it was this certain group was they would put fucking this is not a joke references to the movie Dune in the code in the comments, and that's how they got the name Sandworm the the group for real like their comments would be like or they would name something like the name of the planet from dune the sci-fi <laughs> movie and it's like that's how they were able to tell it was coming from the same group of people instead of different groups of people it's because they kept dropping like a footprint like what the fuck this is like a serial hacker <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> what the fuck who does that the, the sandworms they're yeah. back yeah yeah it's like a really interesting looking at because that's like a new facet of warfare that's happening is like the cyber war side mm-hmm. of stuff like shut it you're able to do shit because like the jima convention was made before you had a pc in your house so like you're able to shut down like someone's electricity electricity going to hospitals shit like that it's like yeah and so it's not well defined in any like accords any books yeah and the u.s does it too it's crazy the u.s shut down iran's uh nuclear enrichment center um this is real. Mm-hmm. They shut down Iran's nuclear enrichment center with a with a like the most advanced piece of ma- malware ever seen publicly called Stuxnet. Um, they dropped it in USB drives around the facility because the facility's offline, right? right? They didn't want Iran to be able to en- enrich nuclear grade uranium, so they just fucking dropped USB sticks around, and some asshole there picked one up and plugged it into his computer, <laughs> but it was so hidden, well hidden, that, and it was supposed to be like for sabotage, not to shut everything down because then you know you're being shut down. Right. It would make, they have thousands of nuclear enrichment centrifuges at these enrichment plants, and it would just make like one or two every couple of days spin way too fast and break itself. So no one could tell what the fuck was going on. And these were super expensive centrifuges that Iran was getting from Russia. And they would like replay the, the, bot would replay the data coming from it like an hour before. So it would say that it was being fine, but it was tearing itself apart and they'd break. And it went on for years. And the only way, the only reason it, um, they discovered was because the malware was so good that it started infecting civilian machines. 
and they were able to drag it back to the NSA. Fucking crazy. And we're not, we weren't at war with Iran. We were just like shutting down their critical infrastructure. It's like crazy. I, I've like in five years, there's going to be the fucking nuts of stories about what's happening right now between Ukraine and Russia. Like it's, it's insane. Yeah. Sorry. So I really why, why did the States do that to Iran? They didn't want them to have nuclear grade uranium to make uh, nuclear weapons. So by shutting, like breaking one of the centrifuges. That Sabotage. Really yeah. They were able to shut down like thousands of centrifuges. The fact that they went on for years, I can't imagine. Yeah. I think it was, I think it was a year or two. The destruction that caused. Yeah. And it was quiet. It didn't break them all. It was breaking like one or two every few days. And it was like, what the fuck we're doing? So and it made the people at the Iranian nuclear facilities feel stupid as fuck. Like, it made them, like, question, are we good enough to do this? What is wrong with our engineering? It made, like, it, it just, the like, morale planted. Drunk. Yeah, the morale hit from that is crazy. I wonder what was on the USB. It was, like, Flappy Bird. And he didn't, like, think of nothing about it. He's like, oh, whatever. Dude, is that an iPhone with Flappy Bird on it on eBay for $3,000? You remember that? Yes. Because <laughs> you can't download it anymore. People are selling it. Yeah. But yeah, sorry, I rant, but... That was a good fucking book. No, yeah, that sounds that's crazy to hear about. On that topic, I I read or heard something where Russia's planning to disconnect their internet from the from rest, rest of the, the world. internet. Like they're just gonna have their own internet. Yeah. Oh. They're unplugging and starting their own. What? The Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> so. You have to get the internet into your nation some way so they can just cut it off. I think Pakistan did that for a second. It's as like they're well. hosting their own private server. But yeah. not even China does that because China don't. They got China, the firewall. Yeah, yeah, they do a firewall, yeah. right? So they are still technically connected to the internet. But they if you are. have a way to bypass the firewall, you can access like yeah. Google, YouTube, Twitch. Yeah. But to have your own internet. Yeah, only local. I mean, that would country. make it super secure. But yeah. like, if you have the need to do that chances are you're kind of doing something kind of shady right that sounds pretty <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what don't you want your citizens to find out yeah. and like i wonder what it's like for a russian citizen because if i was living in russia and someone asked me what do you think about the war i'd be like i fucking love it please don't kill me <laughs> right yeah 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 because i've seen like videos of people protesting the war and they just get taken away Yes. Like police just show up. It's like, all right, come with it. Come Even with me that now. That level of like bravery is kind of intense. You don't know what they're gonna do with you. That's yeah. insane. It's like your family. Like people could be getting killed, and you wouldn't know about it if you question it. It's like, oh, you're asking a lot of questions now. Yeah. yeah. It's it's terrifying. It is. It's so fucking scary. Yeah. Like you can't speak out about it, but people are still speaking out about it. It's like, wow, that's brave as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty big injustice. Like I'd. I wonder how people in Russia are feeling. Like, what the consensus sentiment is about, like, like, do we fucking hate it, but we're just publicly saying we don't hate it, like a North Korea kind of thing? Or, like, is it, like, vehemently we hate it? Or are there a lot of people who are, like, very for the war in Ukraine? Because I've heard a lot of propaganda about, like, Russian propaganda about there being, like, fascists and Nazis in Ukraine. Right. And because they're on the border with Russia, that's why we gotta invade them. Right. And like, that's Russia's counter to this. And it's like, I don't, like, I'm very curious, like what the percentage breakdowns are. Cause it's hard to get information out of Russia. Yeah. And it's like, people are terrified to like really say what they think if it's not like in line with what, you know, the majority right. party thinks, right? And it's hard too. Cause I feel like within a day, the whole, the whole medic could shift. Like yeah. <laughs> they could probably protest like this. They're like setting it up for weeks and doing it for weeks. And then something happens that we just don't get to hear about. And it's like, all right, yeah, we're all peace. Yeah, Russia's cool. <laughs> Russia's cool. It's like, just saying, I feel like we're not going to get those percentages for so long. Yeah, yeah. Man. Those yeah. history books are going to be wild. They're going to be crazy, just like, yeah. You're going to see tweets. The censorship. In the yeah. history book. And then we're going to yeah, no. The most banger tweets <laughs> in fucking history books. God, yeah, I wonder what's going on. That is funny, yeah, because we studied those political memes. Where are we gonna see? Or are kids in like ten years gonna see memes printed in textbooks? They will. <laughs> I fucking guarantee it. I fucking guarantee it. We see political cartoons. I bet people. Oh, the way people think of memes now is how they thought of political cartoons then. You know, because yep. they they're both sides of the aisle can make a meme, right? Like, th for yeah, Twitter is gonna be clipped. Reddit's gonna be clipped. <laughs> 
I remember when um, Russia first invaded on the first day, and I was like, dude, I can't wait to see what r slash Russia on Reddit is thinking. And I went there, and it is the mods' fucking keyboards are smoking. They are deleting so fast. Like, the top post of the day was like, beautiful day in St. Petersburg. Oh, <laughs> it's my It's like a gosh. picture of the city. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is fucked for sure. Wow. Yeah. Do you guys think we're living... Because, like... When you're living through history, do you know you're living through history? Because we're going through sure doesn't feel like it. COVID, which even now it feels like, is it, it's a big event, right? But is it worthwhile to be noted like the plague or like the, <clears throat> a famine or something? But we're, we're just so used to living like this now. Yeah. But if you look back, it's like, wow, like humankind globally spent three years, hopefully like covering their face because of coronavirus yeah or would it just be like it's like sars or something like we, like, no, oh no. yeah they that happened yeah, yeah they gloss <clears throat> over it we're gonna have a name it'll be like the baby boomers and we'll be like the face diapers <laughs> <laughs> like it's just gonna that generation no, that generation <laughs> of face diapers i think man. it will be remembered very i think it will be well documented because like the, we know about the spanish flu and that actually no that killed way more Wait, people yeah. never mind yeah I don't know. Politically, maybe this is more interesting. The Spanish flu was, everyone was like, I don't want to get the Spanish <laughs> flu. It is fucking real. That's for real. Um, but this one, not so much. So uh, I wonder how that's going to be documented. I think it'll get a paragraph. It'll get a mention. It'll get a footnote in There's the whole no, history book. For how long it's lasting, it has to like be something crazy. Yeah. Or I guess like, that is true. After it ha After it's done and then next generation comes they're probably gonna be like oh that's weird and then move on yeah like three years wow that's crazy cool <laughs> did they ever figure out how covid started was it really like someone eating a bat or is that more they have not figured it out i've heard that the sentiment that it came from the i don't know actually mm -hmm. i don't fucking know anymore never <laughs> mind i heard i remember being like in the beginning um everyone was like wet market for sure in uh, Wuhan wet market for sure not the coronavirus research lab in Wuhan mm -hmm. and then a few months later they were like nah let's look at both sides maybe there's a chance from the research facility the, the virus research facility in Wuhan and I have not heard any updates since then like they have not successfully tracked where it's there's no like definitive thing yet so I don't know who do you think made COVID <laughs> you think they did that but on COVID it's over you guys see that? The YMCA told me I didn't have to wear a face mask inside anymore. So it's canceled. You seen that? COVID got canceled? COVID got canceled. Yeah, it's <laughs> I, over. That's so, I feel like, I know it was like two months ago, but it feels like a week ago. It was just like, oh, masks are back on. Everyone wears right? masks. Right? Yeah. And then, and then I thought they learned from like last time, they're saying masks back off. But I feel like in another like month or two, it's big. Oh, wait, numbers are rising again. What should we do? <laughs> what should we do? Do we wear masks again? How could we see this coming? Yeah. yeah. I guess if... I don't know if it's their call. I, I, I'll, I'll go with it. I guess, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, will continue wearing a mask. It's always back and forth with like, oh, COVID's done. Oh, new variant. Oh, <laughs> variant's gone. Oh, another new variant. Mask on, mask off. Get your like, fifth booster just in case. Yeah, yeah the done. booster, right? Because it's like, oh, you'll need one at most. It's like, well, you got to come in next month. For your third booster and then your fourth booster and one year that your fifth booster and, and you keep thinking it's like okay this is definitely the last one yeah but something you're gonna get your omicron specific booster yeah we're now cooking up a new variant yeah someone's gonna drop that thing hard as fuck i mean what was it coachella has no what was it the covid restrictions like you don't really? need, you don't need a vaccine card to go to Coachella. That's Ooh. <laughs> that's a that's a play. All is right, that, is that right? I believe so. That's they, crazy. That's yeah. a little much. There was something where they're like, yeah, they they're they're matching the um, restrictions of the area, and the area Coachella happens is I think like a red part of the state where they're like very like eh, we don't really need vaxes and <laughs> and all that stuff. So because they're in there, I think it would, I think the, that city would probably put pressure on Coachella if they're suddenly like, why are you, uh, why are you restricting all this now? Uh, like like this, the town's not restricting it. I'm just imagining that like, all these people flying in internationally, 
Yeah. That's going to be the new, that's, we're, we're cooking something up. Yeah. New variants getting brewed. The cello variant, yeah. The cello, cello yeah. Variant, yeah. Yeah. Man, I'd love to name one of those variants. <laughs> I name it the fucking destroyer, Decepticon destroyer. Like with Thanos. X's in the name. Yeah, Thanos. You yeah. want the Thanos? <laughs> the Thanos variant. <laughs> so, okay. No mass required in restaurants, theaters, mega events, etc. What is a mega event? I think like Coachella. Like a Coachella. But That's a turbo event. That is a mega event. Yeah. How many people go to Coachella a year? A baker's dozen. Well, a baker's couple. <laughs> a couple <dozen. laughs> um, it has to be a significant portion of the city that's held in, right? Like a fuck ton of people compared to the city that it's in. Oh, I can um, I can only imagine. 2017 was attended by 250,000 people. <laughs> oh, my what? God. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my. How, does, how do they fit in that town? That's a Thanos. Right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a Thanos. I think, because it is two weekends. Mm-hmm. So I think it's maybe like 100K each weekend. Oh, it's yeah. two weekends. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Maybe the local restrictions for the town don't apply to the hundred thousand person a day <laughs> mega event. <laughs> I don't know though. <laughs> oh, are you guys going to uh TwitchCon Amsterdam? I feel like I would have said yes to that. Like I've never been to Amsterdam. If uh, if everyone's going, I'm going. But like I'm not going alone. <laughs> That's the general thing. sentiment. If yeah. everyone's going, I'm going. Hmm. When is it? Uh April we should know that, but you guys ever been to Europe? No, no. Oh, no. really? Neither of you? Neither. I no. actually Neither. have you. I went for a Hearthstone tournament once in Germany, <laughs> and that's about it. Nice. Wow. I actually don't even have my passport. Not much. Well, that's you a problem. Get <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's a problem. Yeah, I got to start working on that. That's a barrier. I yeah, I've never left uh, the U.S. Ever to end, go anywhere? Nope. Oh, July shit. sixteen to seventeen. July. Oh, well, we got some time. Yeah, we got yeah, some time. yeah. But get that passport. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, a good idea. <laughs> what do you guys think of when you think Europe? Because, like, Ukraine right now <laughs> for this minute. <laughs> like, um, in the early, early years, I feel like when you think Paris, it's like, wow, Paris, England. Yeah. But now, recently, it's like, ooh. My Paris. opinions on Europe have definitely taken a dip on Europe. Yeah. Like, uh, not not like anything but the war would notwithstanding just like hearing the the about like food and stuff the, yeah, it's like, like the not attitude, the best yeah the, the general cleanliness. yeah like what do you think what do you think like the the feeling of it kind of shifted from like romantic and idealistic to more like t- like tourist trap i think feeling? That we just have media now i feel like there's so much People can just like tell their stories. Yeah, I think Paris is no longer like that romantic city. I mean, it is, but like now it's like it's definitely not. I, what it I comes thought. up as creepier to me now. Yeah, like, the amount yeah. Of, uh, just the stories you hear about like the um, I don't want to say all. I don't want to like <laughs> all <laughs> French. Yeah. People. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell us what you think of all French. <laughs> all <people. laughs> French. But I've just heard so many stories of the like, guys and like. How yeah. they creep on the tourists and a little mm. human trafficking meme out there, yeah, <laughs> a little in, scene in Europe here and there. Uh, uh, I, I think media, yeah, really definitely, yeah, yeah, killed the vibes on the romance. Killed the Paris. vibes, yeah. <laughs> Not the city I thought when I watched Ratatouille. I would have gone yeah. right after that. <laughs> True. Uh, yeah. Remy was having a great time. I was having an excellent time. <laughs> <laughs> I loved my time in Paris, but there is a thing called Paris syndrome. Have you heard of this? No. Mm-mm. It's a. Uh, I think it originated from like Japanese tourists who yeah. oh, I remember. who would think of Paris as like, oh, it's the pinnacle of like, like romance and beauty Fine. and paradise. Is that and then they show up and they're so like disappointed by it <laughs> that they physically get sick and depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and that's advertised on media. <laughs> and now everyone's like, Paris? Like, okay. Paris, maybe Paris, not. Paris yeah. is Paris. But I loved it, so. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Did you see anything, like, not so great about it? Yeah, I mean, the, the like, kind of Parisian snobbery towards Americans is, like, pretty true. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah. there's a great TikTok online of, like, um, a girl's, like, uh, one week in Paris. And she opens the door, and this lady's like, Oh, bonjour. And she's like, oh, hi. I don't actually get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. 
I will go for TwitchCon. I think Amsterdam. I, I do like the idea of just like walking around a city alone, yeah. doing a random shit. That's always fun for me. Yeah. Um, just try it out. Which one's Amsterdam? Denmark? Netherlands? Netherlands. Yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. Fucking same place. I, I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, when you ask me, hey, what's the difference between Denmark and Netherlands? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's the same thing. Cl- <laughs> Clogs sure. and windmills, bro. <laughs> what well, like, Wow. Oh, the locals are coming for us. <laughs> what language does Netherlanders? Dutch. Dutch. Dutch? Am I stupid? I have no, Dutch, I have no right? idea. Dutch. But then I wouldn't know if you told me who. What do they speak in the other one? Denmark? <laughs> Danish. Danish! That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And then there's Finland. Right. But what's the difference Finnish. between okay, Ger- all these? Germany is here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Amsterdam is here. Denmark is up here. Mm-hmm. And then we have like Sweden, Finland up here. So it's yeah. actually kind of still. In the same general place, right? Yeah. yeah. Fuck, I get why they hate Americans. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I just, that's, that's I don't, our bad. Yeah. yeah. That's our bad. Tell me the difference between the Wait. fucking states, though. Tell me that, <laughs> Swedish Wait, so person. <laughs> in their history classes, do they also have to learn U.S. states? Because I feel like I never had I to look, it. I had uh, never had to look at Europe. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. It was just always It was always, US it was states, mostly U.S., yeah. Capitals, you're done. Never have to look at right? it again. Yeah. Third the, grade, We had done. an optional, like, world history class, and it was optional. So, like, I feel like it was mostly, and I feel like it was mostly about the state you were in. Like, yeah. you learn a lot more about the state that you were in. I thought everyone in the world learned about how Kamehameha was overthrown by the white people who owned the pineapple fields. Not everyone knows that. <laughs> I That's not I normally no taught. Yeah, no. What are they teaching fucking Ohio? Because the Hawaiian history is honestly really sick. It's very cool. Like, one guy was, like, the Superman who united all the islands. Kamehameha the first. He, like, he was, like, the first chief to unite all the islands. That's awesome. What the fuck does Ohio have? What do they talk about? <laughs> We got a guy. I, I think they just talk shit. about, you know, I have no idea. I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> Wait, his name was Kamehameha? Yeah, the, 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 I know the move, I think, definitely Dragon Ball scene came after. So oh, uh, Yeah, I thought you were yeah. sending a Thunderbolt Do you towards think me. I had no idea. Did Dragon Ball people name that move after the Hawaiian? There's a shot. I mean, definitely. Definitely, I right? Definitely think he Yeah. Yeah. Like this he guy in Japan guy. writing a manga is like, I need a name for this move. <laughs> I mean, he named all his characters after, like, vegetables. vegetables yeah. So, oh. definitely, I could see him taking oh, Vegeta. Vegeta. Vegeta, vegetable. Kakarot, carrot. Yep. Radish, um, raditz. Napa, Napa cabbage. What wow. The yeah. Fuck? You didn't know that shit? <laughs> What's Krillin? Uh, I think it's just the Sands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gohan, rice. Piccolo. Yeah, pickles. <laughs> Holy oh, wait, yeah. I had this no idea. This motherfucker. You guys didn't know that? <laughs> I had no idea. I did idea. not know that. <laughs> This guy, just, carrot cake. This, guy, this guy just went to the supermarket. <laughs> he got his whole there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So he would take inspiration from other places <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So in Hawaii, they definitely talk in favor of the Native Americans, right? Oh. About the white man coming over and... Like I feel it. like a lot of places do feel favorable about that. Even in um, America? But the yeah. white man coming? Or what do you mean? Like the general sentiment that they were taken over, like the native population was overwhelmed by, or like overthrown by, you know, settlers. The Europeans. Europeans. Well, I mean, we've just now started saying, oh, well, let's not celebrate Christopher Columbus Day. Right. Actually, like, yeah, that's we're, a good We're point. slowly transitioning. That out was of recent. That. Yeah. Times. Yeah. Yeah. But... If we, if Americans feel that way, why not give back the land? <laughs> no longer. <laughs> I mean, clearly, <laughs> Americans are starting to feel like, yeah, no, this land wasn't taken. I think that's going to take a, that'll be a minute. <laughs> that'll be a fucking second. All right. Because um, I was watching um, this um, Viking show and it's just like these Vikings invading England. It's like, we're going to fucking live here now. Yeah. And if you don't like it, we're going to kill you. And it's like, isn't that what kind of. Americans did coming to America yeah, towards like, the natives. It, it, word for word, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, we're gonna live here now. <laughs> this is our place now. It was. Um, I think it was a very similar between like uh, the Native Hawaiians and the Native Americans, where um, they did not have a, like a strong cultural sense of land ownership. It was like 
you fuck it's just like it's the land you know no one no one has it right right so i think one of like kamehameha the second um was paid like i forget how much like a thousand bucks for an island for an entire island or like 500 bucks for Kauai or something like yeah because it had no idea what like what is land ownership we fucking live on the land obviously there yeah. was there were stories of native americans where like u.s government would say hey we'll give you 500 dollars for this land yeah and they were and like the, oh. and the natives would be like they think they can own land <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah. yeah we'll take yeah, your money sure, i'll take the money <laughs> yeah so i feel like it's definitely taking advantage it's much easier to take advantage when there's no concept of land ownership yeah and then the U.S. is like, oh, fair trade. We told them about it, <laughs> you fools. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then there's also the, the Trail of Tears where they, like, oh, yeah. gave them a bunch of, like, blankets with smallpox. And they're like, yeah, you could just go over there. Just migrate. Dude, yeah. And just everyone like, dying on the way. Because yeah. the blankets were, like, They would uh, hand out yeah. blankets like, that were used warfare. by smallpox. Yeah. yeah. On purpose to kill on them? Fucking on fucking purpose. purpose. <laughs> yeah. What? And they did... Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, right, you're from Canada. Shit, yeah. Bad stuff happened there, (laughs) here. It is crazy to revisit all this because while learning this, everything, I just felt neutral the whole time. Yeah? It's just like, Because that's that's kind of how it's presented. Because you are in the United States. Yeah, you're the U.S. Oh, this is what I represent. But coming back to it's like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, huh. what the fuck? This is our upcoming? <laughs> like, this is our roots? Yeah, I thought Tonto helped them make how to cook fish <laughs> and, <laughs> and grow food. <laughs> uh, is that why people sometimes don't like Thanksgiving? Because it portrays it as a very like positive. As like a positive. It's like, hey, pilgrims. Hey, Native Americans. Yeah. Let's sit down and have a feast. I think the first, like that specific one that you're mentioning, Mm -hmm. um, I think the Native Americans were actually like way more. It was more like the pilgrims were dying and the Natives were like, Yeah, yeah. And they helped Here, do you want to eat? Like they gave them stuff. They did not know how to like grow any crops in the different climate. Yeah. So it was almost like a, that's why it was so like strengthening yeah Mm -hmm. they've been holding on to that for 350 years yeah that one like day or 250 (laughs) wow he was young but like they've been holding on to that for a long fuck that first dinner for a long (laughs) fucking time (laughs) and didn't mention anything after it (laughs) (laughs) on on the topic do you guys know uh, i think it was called roanoke have you heard of this roanoke yes the colony that disappeared yes that one is scary. I listened to the stories of that. On there was a number of colonies where like people came, they like picked a spot and they tried to colonize it. One of them just vanished. Like other people found it later, and it was like they found the whole settlement. They found structures. They found like uh, I think the title like Camp Roanoke or something. Yeah, but no but people, no trace of people, no bones. Like if you all died, you know, there's bones. But where the fuck did they go? Yeah, isn't that weird as fuck? <laughs> it's so Wait, scary. Where, where was this? This was somewhere New, on these coasts. New England, yeah. It was like when they were first colonizing, like when they first landed at Plymouth and they were oh. up like that little bit of the East Coast. They just, one just fucking disappeared <laughs> without a trace. It's fucking scary. Yeah, like what is this population like? <laughs> it was I, small. Yeah, I, I think it was like in the hundreds. A couple hundreds, yeah. But like you expect to that find is still... hundreds of bones. Did it, did it have theories? What are the theories? I I don't know. I think there's a theory that they like could have joined another colony or like a like and no one mentioned it or like I don't know. I actually don't remember the theories. Yeah. yeah. What do you think could have fucking happened? They just like left all their houses like yeah because like that's a lot of work. Yeah. Especially back then, like yeah. no one would want to leave that. Yeah, it doesn't was, make like, sense to leave a Something was really bad. Like I could imagine like uh some like satanic like possessioning happened. Everyone's like, let's get out of here. Let's leave. <laughs> but, like. I don't know. Some witch shit. Damn, yeah. it must have been fucking easy to be a... Pr- not easy, but like... I love how you could fucking explain everything with like, oh, that's the devil. <laughs> everything bad that happens, fucking devil. <laughs> that devil. sucks. <laughs> it took a lot of courage to be the first few people to say, yeah, I'll sit in this wooden... Psychopath. Plank. Yeah. And just like... Six months across the... Six months, yeah, across the ocean. At any point, one plank falls off. It's like, fuck, what are you (laughs) you doing? doing?" (laughs) And you've you've never seen a fucking TikTok in the US. (laughs) (laughs) You you just hear this guy come back and he's like, yeah, there are people there. Their skin is not the same as ours. (laughs) The fucking land looks super different. (laughs) You're like, yeah, I'll go there with my whole family and kids. Yeah, I also think that about like the... um, 
uh, that like the pioneers who mm-hmm. who uh, went west from like the original New England, like you you've established like cities in New England, and it's mm-hmm. like we're gonna go into the I'm gonna like take my kids and a wagon and like my spouse and we're gonna just fucking go and we're gonna go <laughs> into the wilderness and like we're gonna try and get to the other side of the United States. I drove across the United States. It's fucking big. It is so fucking big. Like oh yeah, that's the right. thought of like you being on a on a wagon and you going to, to, from to that coast to the other coast without being in a fucking car is insane. No car, like, no roads, no, car, no no people around to facilitate yeah. that. I feel like every uh, every city in between New York and and every West Coast city, every city in between is just a pioneer that gave up. And made a town. They just made a fucking town. It's so fucking... Uh, without a road? Like, have you seen the Rocky Mountains? No. Imagine you're fucking... Ima- oh my fucking God. Imagine you're crossing the United States. You've been crossing the United States for two years with your family. Like, your kids have been born. Some kids have died. And you're like, I swear we're almost there. And like, this is actually how it feels when you get to the Rocky Mountains. It's like it's like a place in a video game that you can't go yet. It looked like in like you've been on s- flat lands for years, mm-hmm. actual years, and you get to the fucking Rocky Mountains and it's like just cliff faces all the way up and it like a single storm and you die. It's such an impending even in my car I was terrified of going down the Rockies. On a road in my car, I almost died. I swear to God, oh like God. this, or like I was in a pretty bad weather and I mm-hmm. didn't know how to use the defroster in my car, but, um, like doing that in a wagon, like you're spending like months or a year mm-hmm. in those fucking mountains. And then, you, and then at the end, your prize is fucking desert land <laughs> is the fucking <laughs> desert. Yeah. I, I, I have no fucking clue. It's actually the people who stopped in Nevada though. They were almost there. <laughs> 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 fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> it's cause uh, I'm thinking of um, like my friend was going to Alaska and yeah. he, they needed it was a requirement or not a requirement it is very highly recommended because there's one strip of road no gas station for maybe like an hour yeah and it's like leave a gas tank in your car and there's no reception so if yeah. anything happens make sure your car is fixed mm-hmm. have a gas tank yeah and then drive. Yeah. This one hour is, yeah. do not have issues. I'm like, that sounds life threatening, but I'm imagining wagon. <laughs> wagon. There's no that. checkpoints. <laughs> There's nothing. There's like no gas stations. You're just kind of going with the flow. Oh, your wheel breaks. It's just like, okay, we have to post up here. Can't yeah. Be. Yeah. I'm just until th- we can cut down a tree somewhere to make like, a new one. <laughs> Oregon trails a bitch compared to that. Yeah. 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 Pussies <laughs> compared to yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I saw one sign like that on the way from Colorado where it's like, there is no water for the next hour. Please make sure you get drinks and you are okay. Yeah. yeah. But, Wait, yeah. I have a question. It, during like Wild West times, what kind of role or person do you guys think you would have been? Like, would you have been a bandit? Would you have been like a farmer? Would you be trying to walk across the U.S.? What would you God, do? God, what did people do back then? Like, what what are the jobs available you'd to be you? A train conductor, like an apprentice. I don't think they even had trains at that point. Yeah. <laughs> but that, well, I, some, some, some maybe, like, yeah, maybe. There's just, not enough jobs to go around because you just need one like grocer, one yeah. barber, <laughs> one sheriff, yeah. one yeah. bartender, like a blacksmith. Um, um, what's apprentice? everyone else doing? <laughs> Lumberjack. I, I don't know. I, I I feel like a lot of them were farming though like Farming, a, a bunch yeah. i think a lot of it was agriculture yeah mining yeah what was the entertainment in yeah saloon? fucking puppet shows yeah oh, puppet shows. shadow puppets yeah, yeah. that was a bang fuck i wish i would, like damn that sucks there was probably some sick shadow puppet shows that we just don't know about <laughs> we missed out yeah i wonder how you get the inspiration to like go out and forage across the United States, like just forge a trail to go west. Cause like mm. when I think about trying to get inspiration now, it's like portrayed very often in media, you know? It's like you get a movie where the, the main character is like doing something super brave and you're like, oh, that's sick. I can apply that to my life. But like, where are you getting it from when there's no media, you know? Yeah, I feel like your parents would just show you the peaks. And you're like, okay, that's the peak. And yeah. then you like randomly come across another guy. And you're like learning new peaks from just your surrounding. Mm. Uh, 
That's so, like yeah. the only thing I can think of. Yeah. There's no other advertisement. Yeah, it's right? Just the yeah. The people you meet. Yeah, how do you get that like initial spark? Does it just come out of nowhere? That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Until you come across this shadow puppet master. Yeah, the guy with the yeah, most there's sick these of... heights. <laughs> <laughs> I can stand now. <laughs> I can make an octopus. <laughs> Mom, I'm going to be a shadow puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think um, space exploration would be like the next iteration of exploring mm. the world? Because just like back then, like people now, it's like, yeah, I'll sit on a giant metal tube that will go to another planet that'll take 20 years. Yeah. And people are going to be like, you're fucking insane, insane for doing it. Yeah. You're going to. Get, you're, gonna you're gonna die. die. There's a huge likelihood you'll die. But for sure, that first ship that takes off, it's gonna be like filled with signups. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, no question about it. And maybe that's just how it was back then. Would you guys go to another planet? How old am I? <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a Are you more question. likely to go when you're young or when you're old? I would say 60s, I think. I'd be... I feel like they wouldn't take you. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they wouldn't let you on. Yeah, it. Way. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, yeah, that is kind of similar. Yeah. At least with the first like pilgrims that came over. Freaking it's crazy. It's hard because the later you go, I, I'm imagining like there's always going to be these times of like, oh, I have kids now. Or like, I have a pet now. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, I have a kid now. Mm -hmm. And there's just like all these variables of just like yeah i can't go now or i can't go now yeah it's just yeah. like i think you just gotta gotta send it you got a lot of ties to yeah. Yeah. what if okay what if it was an experience you know how like college is like four years and then if you do even more like trade school all that stuff yeah. it's, it's even like doctor or whatever what if it was a program where it's like all right fresh out of high school you're 18 you're gonna spend the next six years on a spaceship where all of your studies are are paid for you're you're gonna get the four years of college and then whatever kind of specialization you want because we're going to need you on that new planet. And that's the whole journey. Once you're done with your, with your schooling, you'll land and you're good to go. Would you have done it? I feel like that would be more like, okay, like none of them are established. Like they have past families, but they don't have to worry about like kids or like wives so much, that kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. I feel like you'll get a lot of like people without strong like family ties, like maybe... Because I can't imagine, like, a lot of kids being okay with just saying goodbye to their family for pretty much ever. You'd have to, like, take them with you. Yeah. Which would not, uh, there wouldn't be space for that, I'm guessing, <laughs> for the whole family. But now that we've seen, like, what people do, like, now that we've seen what, for example, what Americans did to the natives, <laughs> when people are traveling to, like, Mars, they're going to have a discussion of who fucking owns the planet <laughs> <laughs> off the bat, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not repeat. yeah. There's no one who's been there already. Yeah. So. It's like, it's, is it like, okay, you landed there first. I guess it's yours. <laughs> There's no way it works like that, right? No fucking way. But like, even no. now, it's like, who does Mars belong to? Yeah. There's also no ocean. So no like natural dividers of land mm -hmm. either. You oh kind of just yeah. fucking own the surface <laughs> <laughs> or not, you know? There's not an ocean cutting you up. Would it be like the olden days where like the communication between the planets are so slow that like you have to send a guy back. It's like, <laughs> by the way, terrible place. Bad place. Bad place. No, we'll have TikToks of Mars. We will. I TikTok. believe that. Yeah. I think it's like four minutes speed of light. To get to a message, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Mars TikToks, yeah. Mars, TikTok. yeah, Mars. Talks. Stay in the live. Uh, <laughs> it fucking sucks here. Uh, it sucks that I feel like technology has to progress to a to an. I guess it would be more similar to not the pioneers, but to the first settlers who came over. Because mm -hmm. like a pioneer, you can kind of make your own wagon if you got the skills. But you could not make, you couldn't build the giant boat that would take you across the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Just like I cannot make a spaceship, you know, like it's the you you have to hop on like a governmental or like business thing to like go to this other place. Damn, I wish we had fucking could yeah. just build it though. That'd be sweet. You also can't like like for us like Pilgrim's Land, you could just walk. Be like, all right, I'm gonna right. go this way. Yeah, <laughs> Mars. It's like. 
Mm. Oh, I'm dude. kind of stuck on the ship. I'm on. The, I'm in the dome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm imagining like a trailer park. <laughs> yeah. It's just a trailer park of just like people are just like like yo come over <laughs> smash night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's so hard to find good candidates for that. Like, it's hard to find a well-adjusted human being who is like very smart and capable and resourceful who has no fucking ties to their family or any loved ones. Like, those are a rare kind of person, right? Like, usually if it's a super well-adjusted person, they, you know, they got, like, family or, mm -hmm. and a lot of friends and shit. Yeah, I don't know. How the fuck do you find someone who's willing to go but can also pull their own weight? What if we sent, like, an army of Boston Dynamics robots that yeah. could be remote-controlled to set up the facility for us? I think that's, a, like, the plan in, like, a different way. Is to, like, set, is to send... Um, machines that can slowly produce oxygen from the soil on Mars there. So there's an oxygen reserve when you get there. Mm. Stuff like that. Um, so I think they're looking at that. all of that? All that dirt, all that soil. Who Boston. owns it? <laughs> it's an extension of the state of Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like wars would be fought about that, God. right? Like, I'd fight a war with fucking Mars. Mars wars? Oh, my. I know. <laughs> like, it'd be so they, slow. They go to Mars, and they, what if they start wanting independence? Just yeah. like how America wanted independence from England, right? It's yeah. like, no, we're Martians now. We're not like Earth people. We're, we're our yeah. own planet. Actually, yeah. I feel like the first generation of kids will feel very differently about the situation of Mars. <laughs> Why the fuck am I here? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be pissed. Dude, imagine gaining consciousness and you're on fucking Mars. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah. God. Do you think we'll see it in this lifetime? In our lifetime? Uh, Mars? Yeah. I think there's a planned, not like permanent stay, but I think 2024 is the goal for like a Mars trip. I don't know if I'm. I'm, I'm confident well. in our lifetime we will at least see a single individual individual live on mars or start to live on mars yeah yeah who fuck owns it though who is that single individual i don't know it, i don't know in my mind as well it counts like if would it count if it's a robot like it's like he controls it like they already have like the human <laughs> robots it's just like he's putting in vr headset and he's just walking around mars doing his day-to-day -day job there <laughs> i don't know how crazy it would be to send like a robot there but it has like a sperm and an egg. <laughs> you get like an Adam and Eve. So he has like yeah. a freezer inside him. Yeah, and then like once he lands, like he combines the two. Dude, and, and just the whole the world baby. watch them grow. Is it just one kid though? <laughs> the King of Mars. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good name of the movie. That's a feature length film. <laughs> Maybe you do animals first. Because animals, I feel like instinctually. I mean, we did the monkey. <laughs> Did we did monkey, monkey. monkeys to the moon. Monkey to the moon. Oh my god. But what animal would you I, send to Mars? I, wasn't there an issue with the monkey in the moon thing? They're like, don't do that. I don't think was it came it? back, right? Or I don't think. Yeah, 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 I think animal missions are never meant to come back. Yeah. Like the first dog in space came back as like a charred corpse, right? Holy shit. Like the Laika? The Russian send. <laughs> like without us, like without a, any idea of. Um, bringing it back alive mm. it's like a street dog named Laika. they sent it up just to see if being in because like when we were first going into space you had no idea if like the radiation would instantly kill any organic life like even through a ship mm. so they were sending like dogs up for that purpose just to see if they'd live uh. yeah there was a whole bunch of shit that they were like i don't fucking know <laughs> They're like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Dog. Dog. Dog seemed fine until it burned in the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah. You got to figure out which animal needs the less parental guidance. Because right. humans is like the most So much time, yeah. On parents. Yeah. But like, for example, like a fruit fly. Like that shit pops out of its larva. It's like, it knows everything. It knows, yeah, oh yeah. It knows everything it needs to know. <laughs> yeah, it's like its in its brain already. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you send fruit flies to Mars and see like... See what the fuck happened? Cause <laughs> Look, they know Mars how to full of fruit flies. <laughs> Cause they know how to be fruit flies. Yeah, they, they're born with that knowledge. And with that crazy. instinct, yeah, yeah. Do we want fruit flies in Mars? I feel like we're trying to get away from them. <laughs> Shit, I want to send like, mosquitoes. They there, and then you send up, like you just work up the food chain, right? <laughs> Bigger food bigger. chain, right? Because <laughs> these animals know how to fucking live and evolve and adapt, right? They're 
pretty They're, hardy. Yeah, instinctually they know to look for food. So yeah. you have to give them some food. They know how to places. find shelter. They know how to like hunt. And I know some of it is like passed down through like nurture yeah but a lot of it is also like just nature especially like a, f- a bug like especially fish, a bug. fish yeah they just the they just salmon shit, going back to the river yeah they just yeah. shit the eggs out <laughs> and spray semen on that <laughs> <laughs> and the parents don't stick around they just leave damn i wish that was how humans were <laughs> <laughs> like the, the but mom, we can now with yeah, artificial yeah, sure. intelligence with our shitting ai <laughs> <laughs> yeah because like if you did it with a human baby it's gonna fucking die. Yeah, yeah, die. yeah, yeah. It sucks though, cause it'd have to be in like a biodome or like mm-hmm. a dome to like a life support place, cause there's no way it can survive on the surface for yeah. any amount of time. That would be so- I would send a giraffe. <laughs> I fucking. I'm just imagining a giraffe, it long ass neck, small helmet. <laughs> yeah. The giraffe helmet. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if Mars can actually support any kind of life. Yeah, I think it's like you must grow your food and like have a life support dome and shit. Yeah. I think there's like something untapped here. I think we make Mars Tycoon. Oh. The, those people will beta test. The All roller. gamers will beta test Mars for us and we'll find the most optimal. It'll be like that bridge building game. Yeah. Now they're, they're going to pave the way of how we're going to start Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Gamers will do it. Yeah. That's how Kerbal Space Program works. You guys ever play that game? Mm-hmm. I've seen it. Yeah. It looks fucking crazy. I haven't played it, um, but it looks fucking crazy. And you it's very accurate, I've heard. Like, you need to have an idea of, like, celestial dynamics and shit. And they... Really, this is a game. It's a game, yeah. And to, like... For some of the missions, you can send, like, a... Like, a some technology that will create oxygen and stuff and, like, set up beforehand. I feel like that's how kind of how you have to go... Because it makes sense to do that before you make a planned mission for, like, Mars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there is a technology that can get oxygen from the soil, I think. They can convert Martian soil into oxygen, which is pretty sweet. Um, I don't know how fucking water works. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> plants work. <laughs> it's in Ziploc bags of this water. <laughs> can we Here's like- your supply. Can we synthesize water? I forget. Like, do we have a machine that can just take hydrogen and oxygen and be like, yeah, water? I, I mean, what, was, what is the setup? I uh, think so. I mean, think of, uh, not, I, don't want to, I don't want to put a game analogy. I'm just saying. Um, you can. Plastic tarp, sun, <laughs> water drops. Lifting <laughs> moisture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, the amount of, this is going to sound kind of stupid, but like the amount of hydrogen atom on Earth is the same right wait what like because matter can't be destroyed right is right what I hear. oh like it keeps getting recycled is yeah what you're like there's a set amount of water in the world yeah and that water never really goes away it just right. like goes in just a body to forms. body yeah. yeah so and mars doesn't have water so why right. don't we take out water and put it on mars and we'll stay on <laughs> mars forever right because it can't leave just pick it up <laughs> <laughs> like if you pour out a bottle of water on mars and it evaporates it evaporates into the mars atmosphere it but does, then yeah. like if there's enough water then it starts raining and goes back into the atmosphere so we i just... think you the step you, you take a big step from water bottle to planetary rains <laughs> i'm just imagining toast just it's like fucking awkward <laughs> just fucking... that water is not gonna disappear yeah it'll be on mars forever forever right forever yeah so why don't we just take all the water like half the water here and just dump it on mars and mars have half the water we have to fly half a planet okay so we're gonna create humidity (laughs) yeah you create from water bottles i think it it does make sense to do that like within a closed atmosphere like a dome and like i think after you've created the water from hydrogen and oxygen, which I think is possible, mm-hmm. or like hydrazine um, is a product. I think water is a product of burning hydrazine. And then you can like, re- I'm fucking stupid maybe, but um, <laughs> you can then recycle it like a lot. <laughs> so like it makes the water that you do have last like a lot longer within like your life support dome. Mm-hmm. I'm getting this information from the Martian. I'll be honest. And, but I <laughs> listen to the book instead of mm-hmm. watch the movie. So it's more credible that way. Yeah. Yeah. We need those Dune suits, the the water suits. Have you guys seen Dune? I haven't seen. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, they wear those like weird suits. They wear are like basically water recyclers. 
So their sweat oh. is, is oh. being Ew. collected and recycled in the suit so they can Yummy. You know, drink it and breathe. That's and fucking that cool. Too. Yeah. yeah. What is our body? Need our water. body needs water, right? I've been so, thinking about that. So what well. the fuck does it give it away? <laughs> 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 you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it. <laughs> Clearly you want it. But you sweat and you piss it out all the time. I, it expires though, right? <laughs> At some point it expires. Water? I, in our system, right? It gets like contaminated, which then makes it expired. Like, yeah, when we piss, we use it to pee out the toxin. Right. But... Does it need water to do that? Why out the, maybe the toxin is like solid. <laughs> <laughs> you would be like pissing out a little lump. Man, that would suck. <laughs> Perma kidney stone. I see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe that's why. It's like they have to melt the, the bad like stuff. Like the bad salt. Yeah, I don't know. God, our body is so The body is like... <laughs> <laughs> so generous. It's like uh, you're so thirsty. Like you have this feeling of thirst. Like I want more water. <laughs> and it's like giving away water. Like, <laughs> Not running away. <laughs> yeah, especially when you're like in a hot environment. <laughs> it's like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my God. All right, let's move on to the question. We talked about current events, past events, and future events. We <laughs> covered the we entire the, history the whole spectrum, yeah. Yeah. of mankind. All right. <clears throat> Weekly viewer questions segment. Every week, we pick two questions from the Reddit thread on our offline TV subreddit to answer on the podcast. This week, we have DC Nerdlet. You're on death row. It's your last meal, and you can get whatever you want. What do you order? Fuck, can you guys eat on death row? I would, do you mean like physically or like it would be hard to eat? It would be hard to eat. Like, I was like, I don't yeah. want to eat anything, man. I'm yeah. fucking dying. Yeah. But to answer the question, uh, I get maybe a nice steak. I'm a, I'm a meat guy. That's reason. I like, think that's the, the classic best. death row dinner. Really, like steak and <sighs> potatoes. Yeah, I just want like a, a night, the best steak possible. Yeah, you really charge that prison for like a wagyu. Good, yeah, good old beef. Just some some sort of beef. That's reason. Yeah. If want to, if that's the most common one, then I guess like a Korean pizza, like the one with like the sweet potato on it. Because you don't want to be. The same. <laughs> yeah. If like we want a different die. answer, <laughs> we'll get a little quirky with the Korean pizza. Korean pizza is a good idea. I like that. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, that person, no, <laughs> like, no. Okay, we'll good try. on you. We'll yeah. Yeah. good on this guy. <laughs> I think I'd do uh, like eight spam musubis. I think I'd probably do that. Yeah, yeah, with egg. Probably ask for my mom's cooking. Mm. It's like make it mean something. That's mm. a good one. Yeah. What were you, bro? Then. I don't know. I feel like I would just try to be difficult. Like I'd say like yeah. a, a dish from each continent. <laughs> All sides. Yeah. <laughs> no entrees. Uh, have you guys seen that uh, post about like um, death row inmates last meals? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is an interesting post. It's like uh, the classic one is like steak and potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then like, but some guys orders like some weird shit. Like one guy got um, a steak and a, I think like a cherry Coke requested to eat while watching the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, which he got granted wow. to him, which was kind of... Fuck, they must have liked that guy. Yeah. And like I think Ed Gain, the guy who made uh, skin furniture out of people, he ordered like a single olive to be quirky. <laughs> to be silly. To be funny. Yeah. Uh, which is. I remembered that, it. So, that, is, yeah. that is quirky. Yeah. Don't a lot of people do McDonald's too? Yeah. I think um, uh, John Wayne Gacy ordered McDonald's. I think so. Yeah. That was the clown murder guy. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That's just an interesting post. Yeah. Do you guys think the death penalty should exist? Because when you talk about the skin furniture guy, I'm like, yeah, that guy should. <laughs> yeah. He should die. That guy's got. That guy's gotta go. Because <laughs> it's like. The other option is to imprison him forever. Forever, That's yeah. The kind of guy's like, if, if you let him out, he's gonna kill people. Yeah, that yeah. really questions prison reform. You're yeah. not reforming. Oh, he had a belt made out of nipples. You're not reforming that guy. Nah, he's gone. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was a fucking crazy person. Oh. I do then. Yeah, I think I would kill. I would want that guy to not be around. Like you would want it for serial killers, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what about like one-time murderers? Mm. 
I think there's, it does depend. There's been so many like different one-time murders that like I've heard of. Some just feel like like how you're raised is mm. purely like brainwashed. Like well, like one girl just born and like she thought she's like Satan. Like the mom can literally say anything she wants or mm. the parents. Yeah. This girl could just be raised as if she thinks she's Satan and like she has a job to carry out. Mm. Yeah. And it's like that I'm like no death penalty, mm-hmm. like, right? Circumstantial eat. then. Yeah. Right. What about someone who's very conscious of their choice? Like, yeah, I just want. I just hated him, so I, I killed him. You probably, <laughs> probably bad. Yeah, That's, but like, would you give him the death penalty? I don't know. What's the no no? Like, is it fool me twice? <laughs> <laughs> That's death penalty. Shame on me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, not bad. I think it's like because in some ways I feel like a lifetime in prison is almost worse than just dying. You know, I feel like Agreed. given the choice, a lot of people just would rather die. Like I would, if I was told I, I I would either die or live out the rest of my life in prison, I think I'd rather die. You know, and like. So it's like you're using prison as a punishment, mm-hmm. but I don't think that's what it like originally is intended for. It's intended for like reform, right? Um, so I guess it like muddies the water of like what you think prison is, is meant to be. I don't know. What is the current law? Is it like state if you, to state, if you I kill think. someone? Oh, so yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I think Utah did firing squads until a few years ago <laughs> still. <laughs> So that was wow. kind of cool. That was, yeah, that was pretty badass. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's then circumstantial the, as well. Yeah, I wonder what the average is then. Is it like yeah. two, you're just out? <laughs> like, Three strikes. If you've done two, you're just... You're just done. I think it's circumstantial. It's like if they show remorse. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. And very state to state for sure. I think it's more of like an option. I think it's, yeah, it's less of like a threshold and more of like an option on lawmakers or like prosecutors Mm -hmm. to have like we can ask for the death penalty in this state um but you might not get it i don't mean to like i'm kind of circling back wild west okay no i i'm with you (laughs) back in the wild west you okay you and like seven other people managed to get to nevada Mm -hmm. yeah and then one of them turns out to kill someone it's like oh shit do you kill him and also what if he's like the only one who knows how to farm. The best guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just having an off day. I think I feel like back then it's like if someone did kill someone, and we're assuming this guy's not gonna go kill more people, right? Yeah. What I, are the circumstances? Yeah. Of the and like, death? if they had beef and like one guy just took it overboard, it's like fuck. What do you do, man? You yeah. can't. Well, it's hard to kill the best. You're rooting for the best guy, actually. Yeah. You're rooting for the, the useful guy to win and kill you're the like, other guy. Damn, just yeah. keep an eye on John, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> I mean, the other guy's dead already. <laughs> I mean, like, Wild West to me, like, killing someone seemed like a fist fight nowadays. Like, to. Because, like, they're just like. They just bolt or they like, shoot on each other. So, yeah. like, they had a fight, he won. I probably wouldn't Level. kill them because we, we would need. You'd probably need that person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we would need the help. Yeah. But I'd be very I, afraid. <laughs> yeah. We're sleeping with eyes open. Yeah. But we're keeping him. We need, we need food. Yeah. Yeah. Because he also kind of needs you. So that's uh, an assurance, right? You, know, you need other people to man that wagon. Yeah. Humans are weird. We kill each other. <laughs> Animals kill each other sometimes. But do they kill each other for fun or is it like territory right it's yeah it's definitely yeah. like a territory food I, it's like a survival thing yeah. food yeah are there like serial killer animals yeah i don't Dude. think so right i think like dolphins might have serial killers they might yeah they're smart enough yeah to have serial killers i think there's also there was also like a a, a group of chimpanzees not it wasn't just one but it was like the most brutal group it was like significant notably more brutal than other i don't know what you call a herd of a herd a gaggle of chimps <laughs> like and he and that one herd was like really violent, and they would like kill other chimps regularly in the thing. They would like beat the shit out of each other a lot, and they would yeah. kill other chimps. Yeah, and I so I have no like I don't know what the fuck happened there. So I, I guess I don't know why they were like that. Maybe it's like the society yeah. they were born into. Yeah, I wonder how it got that way. A gaggle of chimps is called a community. A community. That's nice. A community wow. of chimps. <laughs> very human like yeah. <laughs> a little too much <laughs> yeah humans do kill each other for 
some weird ass reasons. I mean, yeah. there's also like other animals. Like, what is it? The mother eats their kids. I mean, there's oh, there's yeah. like weird. Crocodiles stuff. will sometimes do that. Yeah. Yeah. Cro- yeah. Crocodiles. Perfect example. Yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck? But do they do it out of like some kind of animal instinct reason, or do they? Because like with serial killers and humans. It's never like a survival thing, right? It's usually they're off in the head or they have like... Delusions. Yeah, some serious delusions, yeah. yeah. But where do these delusions come from? Like in humans or in animals? In humans. I feel like our brain is just so complex. You just... It's very different from like if a spider eats the kid. It's like, okay, spider brain. Little, spider little, <laughs> <laughs> little, little Spider brain. <laughs> little, little rice grain. Little rice grain <laughs> br- brain. But yeah. then like human, it's just like... I don't know, anything could happen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like our receptors could just like, oh, we got a little, we got a little knot there. It's weird. Now you yeah. want to kill people. <laughs> like, hmm. have you guys heard of the show Mind Hunter? Yeah, yeah. I watched a couple, it? just a few. That one's pretty good because it it like outlines the first foray into like researching that. Because prior to that, people were just like, yeah, they kill people, bad. But then there's like a couple uh, people. I forget it's like CIA or something. Where yeah, like, FBI agents. Well, why are they doing that? Yeah. And so they like interview them. And, like, one guy, like, gets to know them. And I, I don't know if it's based on a true story or whatever. But Edmund Kemper was real. The big guy? Yeah. That was a, that's a real fucking real. guy. I don't know if the guy who's, like, interviewing them is real. Or oh, like yeah, group, yeah, yeah. You know? Um, but they get into their headspace. And they're like, oh, so that's why you that's did that. You Thank did you so it. much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it seemed like it was um, the environment they were raised in. Like, yeah. abusive parents. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people are just born... To be murderers, to be right? Murderers. Yeah. Like, I'm going to kill people. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually like they were born like in a really bad environment. Yeah. And they're also like something sometimes is like off a little bit. And the combined pressure of both makes them act down and kill people. Yeah. I'm more so concerned about there. there's people that like have fine environments. It's just like they killed like a rabbit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. Even though, like, everything was like, oh, yeah, he's just a normal kid. Dude, but yeah, I when he went to go like play, that. he killed a rabbit. And it's like, oh, yeah. that was kind of cool. That, was it? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just, like, wondering, like, those steps, like, what's... Right. Those, I feel like, yeah, those there? are not, like, not people who it's their environment. It's, like, a nature thing yeah. for those people. Happy family. And, and they start, like... Killing birds. Yeah. Yeah. Because you should be taught... You should know, like, it's bad to kill animals right yeah but. maybe in, in like yeah you don't naturally want to kill anything bigger than like an insect as a kid i feel like is the mm-hmm. bar yeah yeah dude i had a friend who like killed birds i did in lm no middle school and i like went over to his house today yeah i told you, you about told this. this yeah it's very graphic he was like he was like stabbing a bird like with a stick and he was like laughing and i was like this feels weird <laughs> this is weird and I started hanging out with him less, which is good. <laughs> but yeah, he, like for fun. And then once I came over uh, before that, and he was <laughs> his feet, I just shouldn't laugh, it's bad. But he was like feeding um, dried rice to baby chicks, like uh, baby chickens. And I was like, uh, why are you doing that? And he's, because I just thought he was just feeding them. And he's like, oh, the dry, ice, the dry rice expands in their stomach and they explode. Or like, they like pop and die. So then why are you doing it? Then why would you be doing it? Yeah, I feel like that is a naturalized psychopath kind of person where it's like, I don't know if he killed anyone or any, he didn't. I'm sure I would have heard about that. But that's like the kind of person who can naturally like grow to be a serial killer, you know? What would you do if that was your kid? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Fuck. That's... Or, or if you found like, like little Timmy's playing in the backyard and you go outside and he's like, you find he killed a rabbit. Uh, oh my uh, god how what's the minimum age to give up someone for adoption <laughs> i would for sure give that kid up for adoption. 17 <laughs> um yeah. yeah someone else's problem now yeah let's see what the like, hobbies he likes like <laughs> you like finger puppets <laughs> yeah. do you like shadow you puppets, like shadow yeah. puppets? <laughs> I, dude, that's I, the toughie that's so tough because it's like the way I see kids' mind is like, kind of like just make give them stuff that their brain automatically like wants to like learn about. But if it's killing animals, animals that's it's like, bad. What's the next thing? Do you like uh, killing? Do you like? 
Yeah, do you give him no, you can't do, books you can't do dinosaur books? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do gun range. I'm like trying to think of like, after that. Like I don't want to teach. Can't do skeet shooting. No, yeah, no skeet no. shooting. That's out. Of, that's out now. <laughs> that's now out. Yeah, it would be way harder if the kid was also like a nice kid and he just happened to do that. It'd be easier if the kid was like a huge asshole and he'd be like, this kid is just no good. But if he's like a nice kid, like what do you do except for that? Like what the fuck? I feel like I would show them some culture or activities that like really uh uh like respect life or something mm. like for example like um mm. the back everything's full circle this one uh native americans yeah are like very like they don't want to kill the animals they right. see it as like they have to and when they do they kind of like worship the right. appreciate like yeah, yeah, that exactly. they've given that allowed them to live i feel yeah. like i'd put them in a lot of like courses of that <laughs> like oh yeah yeah, this is why you like that rabbit, right? It's that was good. A good rabbit. You, know? you didn't eat that rabbit. Yeah. You should have. <laughs> I like that. That's probably the and best then you just case hope. scenario. <laughs> and then you hope, <laughs> hope it doesn't turn out. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder uh, what's the percentage of kids who kill small animals and like oh turn into psychopaths, like kill, psychopath. serial killers. Like, do some of them just grow out of it? Because that's kind of like the the stereotype, right? When you find your kid killing an animal, um, like in TV shows, they tend to end up as serial killers. Yeah. But maybe it's not that uncommon. Like I've killed bugs before, right? Yeah. Mm. What's really the difference between like a bug and a bird? And what's the difference between a bird and a rabbit? Right. Now you're thinking like, <laughs> <laughs> right? like there, it's like a scale. But yeah. at some point, you oh, we've talked about this before. Yeah. yeah. Once you get to the, the mammals, yeah, section, mammals. It's like, ooh, that's comment kind of... below if you've killed an animal. <laughs> <laughs> but also, we set out rat traps. Like that's a mammal. That, yeah, are you killing rats. That is a pest. But yeah. squirrels carry this. Oh, uh, might carry the same diseases. What, I use what is a the, movie logic. What is the biggest pest again? What are those called? They're in Japan. Huh. Big pests? Yeah. They're pretty much big rats. What is it? Um, I thought it was just rats. Like big guinea pigs pretty much looking. Uh, capybara. Capybara. So are those cute. pests? Is it, pests in Japan? The, really? I thought those were labeled as the same as like a rat in like the same category. Mm -hmm. They do look like a big rat. They do. One of my dreams is to pet a capybara. They, they are adorable. They, they look so like funny. Yeah, yeah. And they seem so chill. But I was wondering, like, since we're labeling rat as pest, then what is capybara? Yeah, like, if it's not a, a big rat. Yeah, yeah. if it's, it's just a big cute, rat. Man. It is Maybe really it's cute, yeah. yeah, it's it's very human to like. It just looks cute, so I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's just, as the things get bigger, like I can't, I can, I could get rid of spiders, mm -hmm. but if it if it has a crunch, I'm out. Like, if it's big enough to crunch, Ooh, my yeah. body wants to flee. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm out. <laughs> like, it's weird that there's, like, a level of annoyance that allows us to kill an animal. Like, you wouldn't normally, like, kill a rat if you saw it outside in, like, the woods. But you would want to kill it if it's in your house. Like, what if yeah. birds flew into your house more often? Would we have bird traps, like, to kill birds? Yeah. Like, if they started getting fucking annoying. I think 100%. Like, if there's bird shit all over yourself, like, all right, that's I'd be it. pissed, bird yeah. Bird traps. Bird traps. Like, yeah. just a rat trap upside down on the ceiling. <laughs> 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 all right. Next question. Uh, Bercy09, do you have a near-death story? If not, have you ever felt something before it actually happened? Near-death experiences. No. But whenever uh, I'm on a plane and it gets a little bumpy, I close my eyes and say, you know what? I'm ready. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, fuck. It is like on it a is. plane, you just have absolutely no control over no anything. No chance. Yeah. You are um, forced to accept whatever fate you have. But yeah, near death, uh, no. Hmm. I gave myself a concussion once. And I, I hear stories like if you give yourself a concussion, there's always a small chance that it causes some kind of bleeding but yeah. you feel fine you die four days later oh, oh. yeah how'd but, you give yourself a concussion um i just ran really fast and i hit my head on a pole but it's a pole that's higher than my forehead but not higher than ah. the top of my head yeah so it nailed me right at the dome and when i touched my head there was a huge bump ah, yeah. and i thought to myself I was like 
Well, I'm not gonna go get it checked out because it's like, yeah, I bumped my head. But I remember um, I couldn't understand what people were saying. Like people were saying words to me, and like I oh, wouldn't be able fuck. to understand it. And I realized, oh, I have a concussion. But what, I mean, what are you gonna do? There's no like cure for a concussion. Besides. Yeah, what do you do? What yeah, is you just treatment? wait it out. You just wait. Yeah. So I just didn't say anything and went home, <laughs> and that was fine. But. Yeah. If you ever get a concussion, just go home. <laughs> just, go, just sleep, sleep it off. It off. <laughs> just like, Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. How about you guys? Um, do you have a near death? Uh, my mom told me much later when I was older. Or maybe, I don't know. It was like around high school she told me. She said there was an instance where she checked on me when I was like two. She just had a weird feeling to check like how I was sleeping. Yeah. But apparently I wasn't breathing. <gasps> and then she just rushed me to the hospital and... I don't know why she told me, or I, I understand why she told me, but like I honestly, I also don't understand what happened. Yeah, she just said like she randomly checked on me. She could be lying this whole time, but I have no idea. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that I guess that, that's my only experience. But I also just didn't, I wasn't conscious enough right, to right, remember for that it. One. So I like I, that's the closest thing I would say. Oh, you got, you got SIDS, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, isn't that fucked, SIDS? Sudden S- infant death. Syndrome? Sudden infant death syndrome. Like, the fact that that fucking catch-all, it's just a doctor trying to explain why a baby died and they have no idea. They just said it died suddenly. Like, it's not, like, a label for a disease or anything. It's, like, (laughs) sudden infant death syndrome. It's, like, very interesting that a doctor would come up with that term, right? Yeah, because the syndrome implies some There's a reason. Yeah, Yeah, and you would know the reason. But SIDS is just like, nope, just died. Just died fast. That would be such a depressing job to be like, dude, yeah, fuck. Like, hey, yeah. can you find out why this baby died? Like, oh. How fucking, oh. how fuck? John? Just is a, Sid. Yeah, just Sid. Fuck. Um, I have had, um, like, one or two. Like, once or twice, I got, like, 120 volts across the chest, which is never good. Mm-hmm. Like, each hand Jeez. through the heart. Not great. Uh, did not stop, though. Um <laughs> It felt very bad, though. Why did this happen? I was playing with the electrical outlets in course. my house. Yeah. Uh, I was, like, discovering electricity. And mm-hmm. so I took, like, uh, like a, uh, a wire, like a two-pronged cord. And I, we had a lot of trash around the, the property, so I just cut it. And, like, um, stripped away the insulation with scissors. Right. And, I, and then, like, twisted the ends. And I just fucking plugged it in. I'd be like, bah! Bah! And, like, huge blue sparks. Don't do it. Don't do that. You'll you could you definitely die. Um, there's like a really good chance you die. But I was stupid and I didn't understand the danger of that. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, fucking Harry Potter and it's magic. And I go Psh! and like and like chunks of molten copper would fly off because right. it's so like thin wiring. And at one point, I was fucking around and I w- w- tried to like solder um, like chunks of metal to the end and see if that would change the touching. And I just oh. like touch both ends oh, and it went like, you know, it was like a full contraction. Like, cause it, like if you touch it on one hand, it just goes through your hands, but one pull on each end, it goes, it takes the path through your chest where your heart is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah. was like a fucking muscle. And luckily I was able to like throw it down. A big problem with like electrocution is, um, you your it. muscles lock up. Yeah. So like if it's any higher voltage, your muscles and you touch like an electrical wire, your fucking like d- your muscles just do that and you die like that. So luckily, I was able to fucking toss it. Yeah. I so. heard you're supposed to test with the back of your hand if you're ever going to try, because that way you oh, can yeah. track away from. The- oh, oh, that is brilliant. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 God, the human body is so fucking stupid. So stupid dumb. as fuck. Dude, let go. Like, let, let go. Your body <laughs> will literally do the worst thing <laughs> in it that hurts, situation. Right, buddy? Come on. <laughs> Game on. Let go. Figure it out. Duh. <laughs> yeah. So dumb. Yeah. So when you touch both and essentially you're the one completing the You're loop. the wire, yeah. Oh, uh, so it goes through your body. Yeah. Oh, takes a little path. Yeah. It's very bad. It's also AC, which is more dangerous mm-hmm. um, than like a DC current. So it, it's like a... Was there any lingering effects like right after? No. No, no, no. No like numbness or anything? I don't think so. It was when I was pretty young, but I don't remember ever, like, I don't remember it even being that concerning to me as a kid. I was like, oh, fuck, that hurt. <laughs> That's like, a cold but now shower. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, no lingering. Do you think it made you smarter? It definitely took a little path through the head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
fried a few missiles. Yeah, that was one. <laughs> How about I, you, bro? Then? Uh, I definitely had one. Um, I was in Thailand, and me and my buddies all rented out not quite motorcycles, but like a CC below that. Not quite mopeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we went up to this temple at like the top of a mountain. So th- there's like these like winding, like serpentine roads. Switchback up. shit. Um, and like on one side, just sheer cliff, and the other side, just drop to death. Um, we go up to the temple, and like it's really nice up there. It's great. But while we're there, it rains. We don't really notice that. And then we get out. Everything's all wet and slick. Yeah. And so we're going back down now. Oh. And on one of the turns, my wheel bearings were like thick. Like they had like an extra, the hubcap was bigger. Okay. So I was doing a turn and it caught the hubcap and I lost traction. Oh. And the bike just started like sliding. Out. Ooh. And my like split second reaction, like... I almost went into like matrix bullet time was I jumped. So instead of sliding with the bike, yeah. I jumped and basically became like stationary still and made the bike faster. And just yeah. like, like slapped the ground hard. Yeah. So I still got like an impact of road rash, but I didn't like slide. Yeah. Um, the, the bike slid, um, but didn't like make it to the guardrail and still in like just fight or flight adrenaline mode. I like picked up the bike and like started walking it off. And as I did that, a semi truck went <laughs> around the curve. So I, it was like a double dodge, like not falling off the mountain and also not getting squished by a car. Holy <laughs> fuck! That's that's a real real death. That's, 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 that's real death. My fucking god! It's oh also my first time on. I've never been good with bikes, so <laughs> I I will not touch two wheels anymore. Um, reasonable. That's noted. a reasonable noted. fear. Noted. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is very near death. My fucking That's God. as near as it gets, especially with the semi. Like, yeah, yeah, those things squish people. Because they're all blind turns, too. Like, yeah. stop for me. And it's slick road. He's not going to be able to. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah, those things are scary as fuck. Oh. I, it sucks that those trucks can really just squish you. Yeah, you don't, you're not going to bounce off a semi. Yeah, yeah. Like Sudan. cars, you can get yeah, Sudan, like your leg like... run over or something and you, it will stay, but be broken. But like a semi is like, it's like touching the pavement, still the tire. It's yeah. like, fuck. The funny thing is like my first thought was not like, am I okay? It was like, oh no, I broke the brake on the bike. I paid for that. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Stupid yeah. brain. Holy like, shit. yeah, yeah. We almost died. <laughs> wow. Well. I'm glad you didn't die, Broden. Thank you. So Good you stuff. can be, be with, here. Your, with us today. Good instincts. Good reactions. Good jump. All right. <laughs> Before we uh, end this week's podcast, I want to say we will be donating this month's podcast channel revenue to support Ukraine. And I swear we had this written down from the beginning. It's not because I was... <laughs> <laughs> talking about pro-Russia sentiments <laughs> and then you approve my uh, love for Ukraine. There's the backspace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm donating the money so you can't say shit. You can't be mad. <laughs> I'm just saying, people, question the information. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys had a good time. We'll be back next week with another podcast, so t- stay tuned for that one. I don't know who it's going to be or who's going to be on it, so it'll be a nice surprise. See you guys all next week. Thank you Peace. for coming. Bye.